While you were ordering Big Macs through Uber Eats, you might have missed the Hoff spouting AI scripts, this giant mobile 3D printer, and the week's top headlines. Oh my God, I can't wait. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where our takes are hotter than NASA's paraffin-powered rocket. From Baywatch to Sharknado 3, oh hell no, David the Hoff, Hasselhoff, has done it all. But his latest acting gig in Oscar Sharp's short film, It's No Game, is a significant departure from his previous role. Activate Hoffbot. Okay, pal, pick me up. The dangerous world of a man who does not exist. Specifically, because all of Hasselhoff's lines were written by a neural network named Benjamin. The AI had previously written another short film called Sunspring, after researchers had trained it with a slew of sci-fi flicks. In this film, Sunspring is portrayed as such a worldwide hit that Benjamin begins taking over people's lives, deciding what they do and say. It's the role Hasselhoff was born to play, or at least that's what the AI-powered nanobots are telling me. My good lord. My noble lord. The first remove of... Thanks, guys. MIT is getting into the business of building with its latest invention, a gigantic mobile 3D printer called the Digital Construction Platform. It uses an extendable boom mounted on a pair of caterpillar treads and is equipped with a variety of tools, including foam and plastic extruders, a welding torch, and a bucket scoop. What's really cool is that the 81,000 pound machine is completely solar powered. The MIT research team recently set the DCP loose in an empty parking lot where it built a 12 foot tall, 50 foot wide igloo out of quick setting foam. That's the largest structure ever built by a robot. And now we know how Trump's gonna build his wall. And now for TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you. Tropes vs. Women in Video Games is officially coming to an end. NASA is reportedly running out of usable spacesuits. DJI designated large portions of Iraq and Syria as no-fly zones for its drones. The FCC is preparing to gut net neutrality. And an area man was arrested after drunkenly fighting a 300-pound security robot. Have a good weekend, everybody.